Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I will be putting away my fall stuff and we'll be getting my Yule stuff out to decorate and I'll be putting up the tree. So I thought I'd take you all along with me. So let's get started. So this is the current mess we have going on. I took all of my fall decor down last night after Thanksgiving dinner. So that's on the table. I still need to put that away. And then my son brought in all of the Yule decor from out in the shed. So I have several bins of that and then some of the newer stuff and then my tree is over there that I need to put up. So I think the first thing I need to do is definitely put the fall stuff away. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now that I have all the fall packed up, that's just only one bin, I have three total, that one, and then this one over here on the chair. I must have really got rid of a lot of fall decor when I moved because I, I used to have a lot more than that. But I started to put the Yule stuff on the table here, as you can see, and then I have all these boxes to open up of Yule. So I'm just gonna start opening them up, put as much on the table as I can to see what all I have, and then I will start decorating each room one at a time. So I've taken all the fall stuff back out to the shed, and instead of starting to decorate, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the big tree up, and I think I'm gonna put it right here in this empty space. We used to have a um, three-tiered bookshelf here, and that's currently downstairs. So I'll put it right here, and I think that'll look good. I might move the ladder because I don't want the tree covering the picture right there, but we'll see how it goes when I start putting it up. So in the last shot, you saw me get confused on which part was the bottom. <laughs> I finally figured it out. I was confused because the main cord is in the middle, which is weird. Usually the main cord is at the bottom of the tree. But anyhow, I like plugging it in for this exact reason. As you see, the middle isn't lit up there. So I like to plug it in before I even start to fluff it or decorate it because of this reason here. So I need to try to figure out if there's a bulb blown or if I have something plugged in wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I finally got it lit and what the problem is, some of these bulbs are blown out. So this one here and there was another one over here as well. So I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and see if I can find some replacement bulbs like these two here are blown out as well. And so it's a pain, but you have to go through every indi individual one that's blown out when a whole section is blown out and tighten it and make sure, you know, it's not burnt out and then the whole thing will come on. So that's really a pain. I really want a new Christmas tree, but it's definitely not in the budget this year. So I'm just gonna make this one work. And another thing with this tree is my cat has a habit of breaking the bottom branches. So as you can see, 
this one hangs lower than all the rest. So I end up having to use an alligator clip and holding it up each year. So I'll have to find another alligator clip and do that again this year. But like I said, we're just gonna make this work. And hopefully if I don't go over budget on my Samhain decorations, which I can't promise anything, <laughs> then I'll be able to afford a new tree. But anyways, let me go ahead and fluff this and find an alligator clip to fix the bottom there and then I will start putting some decor on. going to do a quick Dollar Tree DIY with these candle holders. They're really pretty snowflakes and I wanted to turn them into ornaments. So I'm just going to snap off the snowflake. Wow, they're on there pretty good. I didn't think that they would be on there that good. There we go. And I have this pretty thin gold ribbon that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna cut some of that off. And tie it on to the top of the snowflake. And then just tie a knot at the top. And then you have yourself a pretty little ornament. And these look absolutely beautiful on the tree. I'm so happy with how this turned out and it was so simple and cheap. It's a great way to get yourself some pretty ornaments. And then I'm going to utilize some of these pretty jingle bells and use them for ornaments on the tree. And what's nice about these is they come with these little strings that you can use to hang them up. So I went ahead and put one on the bell. So now I can put it on the tree. But I just think these are so pretty because the bottom looks like a snowflake. And I just realized they have little stars on the top. So there's a snowflake on the bottom. And then there's a couple stars on the top. That is so cute. I love those little details. Thank you. 
So I got all the ornaments on the tree. I think it's looking really nice. I added some pine cone picks from Dollar Tree. And the majority of the items on this tree are from Dollar Tree. I have a few that are from Hobby Lobby, which I marked in the previous slides. But I think it's so pretty. Now I don't have a tree skirt on yet, so you'll see that when I do my upstairs Yule Decor disclosure. Look at this cat already trying to get up in the tree. He's going to break it even more than he already has. Oh my goodness. Okay, but yeah, you'll see the tree in its final state when I do the upstairs house tour. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to get it out uh, sometime this coming week. So until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks guys. Bye. What are you doing, Mo? What are you doing? You being bad? Yeah. You being bad.